Hi, Jean Lurson here. This week, I want to talk to you about aerial perspective. Basically, it helps you create depth in your paintings. If, when you're planning your landscape, unless it's an abstract, uh, just think about how are you going to create depth in your painting? You can do it by using cool colors in the distance, which is what I did here in this painting, and warmer colors in the foreground. And here's another instance where I've done cool colors, warm in the foreground. Also, another one. Cooler colors here and warm in the foreground. Now, this painting, which is of an African scene, it's the beautiful acacia trees that grow on the plains in Africa. And I just love these trees and I love painting them. But this is mostly warm colors. But still, see, you, if you, you can use warm colors in the distance. If they're light enough, they are still going to look further away. So there, I, I just wanted to show you that so that um, there's no hard and fast rule about what colors you, you use, but um, it's well accepted that cooler colors you'll use in the background and warmer in the foreground. And that's probably the easiest way to create aerial perspective. Here I used cool colors in the sky, a warmer color with the closer up sky and dark but warm colors in the foreground. So there's a lot more to read about aerial perspective and you might want to look it up. I just make sure I'm, uh, when I'm doing my compositions that I use the rule of thirds for all my compositions and I have a video on the rule of thirds that you can uh, watch and I find that if I do that and I'm aware of what colors I want to use, how I want to use them, I can create that depth in my paintings. So I'm going to do a little demonstration and, and I hope that'll help you. So let me just do a very simple painting to show you how to create depth by doing a foreground, middle ground and background in different values. It's not a hard and fast rule that, that the cool colors have to be in the background. And I'm not going to be able to do the distant mountain until that's dry. And I'm, I'm doing the sky as uh, two thirds of the paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the foreground uh, and I'm going to add a little bit of dark there. Maybe we'll make a pathway. Um, let's see. Um, I think I wanted to, I've softened the sky a little bit. Um, my video went on the blink when I was in the middle of doing that. And I've added a little more um, yellow to the wheat and fields. And I'm going to let it dry before we put in the distant mountains and add some grasses in the foreground. Well, now that it's dry, I'm just going to wet this little area here, which looks like a natural mountains form there. So I'm just going to put the, the mountain there. And I want it to be more atmospheric. So I'm, that's why I wet the area first. I prefer that to, to having it go all the way across. 
kind of like that. I think maybe I'll do a tree here to balance off the composition. I just want a small little tree. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there and we've got our distant um, hills or trees. Now we need to darken this area a teeny bit and I think I'm going to use some acrylic inks. I'm using the De La Rani sepia ink to get some interesting textures in the foreground. see and spritz that a little bit. See how it reacts to water. I think the tree could do with a little bit of darkening. Here and there. I just wanted to show you how to create um, aerial or atmospheric perspective with your warm colors in the foreground, uh, lighter colors in the, media, in the middle ground and your cool colors in the, the background. But as I said, you can have warm colors in the background. Another uh, trick is to do smaller trees in the background which cre helps to create perspective also. You could do a small tree there, but I, I actually don't want to do that here. I just wanted to show you what you can do to create depth in your paintings. I have started listing the materials I use in the comments below the video, and these are affiliate links that help to support my channel. And it, this was just a very simple exercise to show you how to do that and I hope you enjoyed this and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.